Well, 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 the first roadmap expansion, Hearth and Home, has finally arrived. Let's shoot that little bird. Yay. Okay, that doesn't work. Also, we finally have received it. I think all of you have been waiting for it for such a long time. They said they're going to give us, what, four expansions this year? And this is the only one that I think we'll be getting. Maybe if we're really lucky, we'll get one more. But I'm going to go through the patch notes and what's actually included in it. And if you don't want to get any spoilers, I would probably suggest just mute and look away. Keep the video running, but mute and look away. They have been sharing quite a lot of information about it and if you've been looking at the Steam page you probably have seen a bunch of their videos but I'm glad it's finally out and uh, as they mentioned you know there's a bit of cooking there's a lot of building and there's a lot of tweaks and fixes which is going to be really nice if you like to build your home your castle your kitchen then you're probably going to love this one. So this is 0202.14 Hearth and Home. They had the general improvements. The weapons have been rebalanced. Now, and that's an important thing because previously, as any game, certain weapons are better than others and others are just crappy you end up not using it. I'm going to have to look through in detail to see which one is going to be my new favorite weapon. Blocking system has been overhauled and that's actually really good and it's part of where maximum HP now affect the ability to block. I think it's gonna the more HP you have a maximum the less stagger you're probably likely to get. Naming creatures that are tamed. Oh, that's really gonna be good and that's actually connected to well we'll get to that actually. Gamepad sensitivity settings good fixing that auto pick up toggle button oh oh auto pick up is going to be really helpful because that's that can be a little bit annoying graphic settings always good to have extra graphic settings and now this is point lights and shadows not necessarily something that everyone cares so much about but tame creatures are affected by a friendly fire settings so you can't hurt the tame creature unless you enable friendly fire or use the new butcher knife item and this is of course connected to naming them because who wants to name their favorite hog and then have it slaughtered by accident well maybe you do it various and other improvements and bug fixes are good thank you iron gate for continuing to work on the game now they have been rebalancing the food so now they give either mainly stamina or health so we're gonna have to go through all the different types of food and relearn what they do the food GI has been overhauled to work better with the rebalanced food excellent and over 10 new things to eat or 12 well Vikings can't really count right in the world, the tame locks now have a purpose. Maybe we can ride it? That would be cool. Slimy locations and creatures have been added to planes. They were a little bit empty previously. I personally love the swamp because it was spooky. It was scary. There was so much there. And then you got to the planes and it was kind of empty except for those bloody beasts. We have the new plantable seeds, birch, oak, and onions. Oh, nice. Obviously, we're going to need onions to cook. I don't think we're going to cook with a birch and oak. Maybe, maybe it's fuel. New items, crystal battle axe, silver knife. We have the new shields, bone tower shield, and the iron buckler. Butcher knife, which we mentioned here, used to butcher tamed animals. Thunderstone. I wonder what that one is used for. Maybe for some of the building stuff. And we have the Loxus accessory. Maybe it's a saddle. Maybe it's a bag or something. We'll find out. Maybe it can carry things for you. Oh, actually, that would be really cool. Maybe that would be better than, than a saddle. Have saddle bags. Well, actual bags in general. So that you can bring it with you. Dump a lot of things in. So you don't have to use that stupid cart all the time. Now, we have a bunch of new dark wood building pieces like the roof, beams, decorations, and more. Oh, this is really nice. New types of furniture. And we have the mighty stone throne. And, I mean, this is probably the best thing. Steamy Viking hot tub. We need that. Crystal walls, which I'm assuming you can actually see through and get some use for that crystal. New types of stacks to show off your treasures and resources. Good. Every Viking wants to show off all of his spoils. Cauldron improvement, spice rack, butcher table, pots and pans. Ooh, more cooking. Cartography table for sharing map data with other players. Nice. Oven added. And an obliterator. So we have an oven we can make things, then we have an obliterator that gets rid of that food. Oh, we just eat it up. Iron cooking station required to cook some meat. So that's what's included in 
their patch notes. And of course, a lot of these things are fairly generic, so you're going to have to experience it, play it again, go back and play your world, go back and do a bunch of building, and find out all those specific details for yourself. I'm really excited. I'm going to go back and play more here. I haven't picked it up for a few months, but this is really going to bring me back. So when do you think we're going to get the next roadmap expansion? Are we going to get it in December before year end? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, hit that like button and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. See you next time, Viking. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.